Morning everyone, it's about 8.30 a.m. Uh, about two hours ago we went and watched the sunrise, which was really magical. And since then it's just been a really lazy morning hanging out at the campsite, which I might show you around because I didn't really do that yesterday. Pretty small little spot, probably enough room for four tents, you know, one, two, three, four. But a couple of these spots are a bit slopey. It was really still and calm last night. That was, that's one good thing about this site. It's nice and sheltered. And even better was the fact there was no condensation at all. So I took the fly off straight away and just had a bit of a lie down in there watching the trees and the birds above. Anyway, let's pack up. And we're leaving camp at about 9.30 a.m. Uh, today's estimated walking time is only about four hours, so it's not such a big deal that we left late. You can, uh, you can thank me for being late. I'm notoriously slow for packing up. Uh, yep, this should be a good day, mostly in rainforest. It's been just under an hour since we left camp and we've arrived at Steamers Valley Lookout which is a, like a 15 metre detour off the track. Nice view. That's sort of where we're heading later today up to Mount Superbus and down the Steamers Valley and that's all the peaks we saw yesterday. So the, the prow, the funnel, the mast and the stern with Mount Gaima behind it. Cool spot. This little star picket marks an intersection. That's the way we're going to Mount Superbus. That way goes down to Teviot Gap, which is an alternative way up onto this ridge. I'm absolutely knackered, sweating so much. It's about 11.40 a.m. and we've reached the top of Mount Superbus. There's a little logbook just down there in this little tin. Not the greatest lighting, is it? Uh, no views from the summit, the 1,370 meter high summit, which is a shame, but kind of everything, I guess. Uh, mostly downhill from here. How cool are those little ferns growing halfway up trees? I've forgotten what they're called. Uh, I'll put it on screen though, because they're really awesome. Anyway, we're about halfway between Mount Superbus and the camp. The trend of walking has been downhill. The track's been pretty, pretty tricky to follow. Like there's bits of tape like just there, but other parts are really vague. We've wandered off a few times, but nice enough walking. Here we are at South Superbus Camp, about four hours on from Lizard Point, so that was pretty bang on with the estimate. Cool little spot here, enough room for maybe two or three tents. This is the spot. That's apparently a new campfire pit, which is a bit of a shame to see because they're not allowed up here. But yeah, this should make a nice camp for the evening. It's only kind of 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and we did think about pushing on for the next 6Ks back to the car, but we decided to stay here, just have an, a lazy afternoon, because we got all the food for it.
I'm having a second meal today because I'm pretty hungry uh, and I carried an extra meal for some reason. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of day two. It was about seven kilometers today, four, hour, four hours as I said a bit earlier on. Uh, not a lot to speak of in terms of views, only a couple of vantage points, but there was nice rainforest, like plenty of, plenty of vegetation to see in the forest. Tomorrow is hopefully an easy day. It's just all downhill down back to the car, about six kilometers. There's a couple, there's a cool couple of interesting sights to see, including a plane wreck. So that'll be pretty cool. All right, let's get stuck into this. See you tomorrow.